Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hold for result if you're getting an account restrictions are preventing this user from signing in error. So it might say, for example, blank passwords aren't allowed, sign in times are limited, or a policy restriction has been enforced. So if you're trying to access a remote desktop connection and you're coming across this issue, this tutorial will be for you. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it and start by opening up the start menu. And this will apply if you're running Windows Professional or higher editions because we're going to be going through the group policy editor which is not included in Windows 10 Home Edition. If you're running any version of Windows 7 or Windows 8, it shouldn't be a problem. And every version except Windows 10 Home Edition in terms of the Windows 10 brand. So once you've done that, you want to go ahead, open up the start menu, type in local group policy. Best match, you come back with edit group policy. Go ahead and left click on that to open up the Windows group policy window here. I have to give it a moment to load up. And you want to collapse the section underneath user configuration because you can see there's folders underneath both that are the same name. So we're just going to collapse this whole selection. So underneath user configuration, I'm just going to click the little arrow next to it to collapse the options so we don't have to get distracted down there. And now we can focus on the computer configuration section and you want to expand the administrative templates underneath computer configuration. Do the same thing now for the system folder. So expand that one as well. So either double click on the folder or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Now there should be something that says credentials delegation pretty close to the top of the list here. And if we look over on the right side, there should be something that says restrict delegation of credentials to remote servers. It should be at the bottom of this list, at least on my listing here. So again, restrict delegation of credentials to remote servers. Double click on that. You want to change this to disabled and then left click on apply and OK. Once you're done with that, close out of here, restart your computer and hopefully that should resolve the problem. Now another thing, if you do not have a password currently set up, there's a good chance that that could also be a problem. So if you just have no password, this is not going to have been able to resolve the problem. So in that case, so we're going to backtrack on the left side here, so I'm going to collapse all these options. And again, underneath computer configuration, this time we're going to go underneath a Windows settings. So expand the drop down for that. Should be something that says security settings. Expand that one as well. Local policies, you know the drill. Expand that one too. And now there should be a folder that just says security options. Left click on that one time. And now on the right side, there should be something that says accounts limit local account use of blank passwords to console log on only. Try and say that 10 times and you want to go and again looks like it's near the top of the page here. So again accounts limit log on use of blank passwords to console log on only. Double click on that. You want to set it to disabled and then left click on apply and OK. At this point, close out of here, restart your computer, and hopefully that should have been able to address the problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.